I'm T.S. Motherfucking A. We handle shit. That's what we do. Consider this situation. Fucking handle. One hundred four hundred is on the back half. One hundred four hundred is a podcast where I suggest I suggest movies for um, you know people just getting into film. It's something they want to check out. I uh, I say, hey, these are the films that you need to check out. I ranked them from one hundred to one, and then I re- uh, provided a one hundred word review for every single one of them. And like I said at the beginning, we are on the back half of this list, man. 49. Yesterday we talked about Captain America the Winter Soldier. What a beloved film that is within the annals of uh, the MCU, within the annals of superhero movies. Today, we're going back dramatic, man. We're talking about 2017's Get Out, directed by Jordan Peele. Let's get into this 100-word review, shall we? In a departure from the genre that made him famous, Jordan Peele's freshman effort, Get Out, is a terrifying film steeped in multiple genres that work in perfect congruence with each other. Contrary to certain members of the Academy, the film is used to examine race relations in America and the African-American male's place in it. Every performance, especially from lead actress Allison Williams, is layered, nuanced, and exacting as Peele directs the camera with the confidence of a veteran. More horror than comedy, Peel proves yet again that sometimes the funniest people can make the most impact emotionally. Oh boy, this film hit in a big bad way when it first came out. Uh, and I don't think anybody knew what to expect with this movie, which is kind of, I, I think it had the, uh, the advantage in that area. Uh, no one knew what to expect out of, of Jordan Peele. You know, we'd seen Keanu, what was that, like maybe that year earlier with, uh, with Key and Peele, and that was, you know, that was a... a, a new, their standard goofy fare. But then they're like, hey, Jordan Peele's also doing his own movie. And you're like, huh, I wonder how this is going to play out. And boy, boy, does it play out. Uh, you know, story of a, an interracial relationship where a black man is with a white woman going to meet that white woman's white ass parents for the first time. Um, that in itself can be intense, let's say. As a person who's been in that position, it can be a bit intense. You don't know what you're going to get. Um, especially with, you know, things, the state that they're in these days, it really can be a coin toss. And this one is, it landed on the bad side for him, uh, especially when you find out this whole time, this entire relationship, this whole thing has been incredibly deliberate and deceitful from day one. The, uh, the twists in this movie, um, are amazing, are completely amazing. Uh, the, the, the homage that he pays to multiple films in both this movie and his sophomore effort, Us. Um, Peel knows his movies. He knows how to manipulate his audience, uh, both expectation-wise and emotionally. Uh, this is incredibly well acted. This put Daniel Kaluuya on the map. Most people just can see him in that, that episode of uh, Black Mirror. Let's put him on the map. I don't think I'll ever trust Alice Williams <laughs> in a film if she did a straight comedy. I'd be like, still don't trust her, still don't trust her. Um, Bradley Whitford as the, as the, uh, as the pops there, he would have voted for Obama a third time. I know he would have, uh, and you know, all sorts of, when you see, uh, Milton from the office, what's that Steven Root pop up and there's the kindly old man. You're like, all right, maybe this is his one little bit of his one, you know, life vest in this drowning ocean. Nope. Sure. Isn't, uh, you know, a uh, quick shout out to like, Keith Stanfield who pops up in that movie. That's, it is just the concept of this film is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying, and it is still balanced out with moments of comedy, mostly on the shoulders of of Rod from TSA, his friend, uh, Lil Lil Rel. Yeah, Lil Rel. Um, he handles all the uh, all the comedic bits of this film, and uh, they are sprinkled in at just the right times. The editing on this film is also incredible. If you've not seen Get Out. Um, I'm not sure why you decided not to see it, but you need to rectify that mistake immediately. Get out there, and however you can find it, you check it out. Number 49 on our list, get out.